Pastor Dana, I, well, I know our time is running so fast. It's, it's running out. But you have to share with us the latest dreams that you, God has given you. What has what else has God revealed to you in these dreams that you've been receiving? And what do we do as the church? How do we re, how do we respond to what you saw, and how do we prepare? Uh, I had a dream this past Friday night. And I shared it Sunday morning um, live at my church. I didn't want to do a Facebook uh, one again. But I, I had a dream that followed the same pattern of the, of the months, and I saw the calendar turn to September. And a hand reached up and grabbed the month of September and pulled it off of the page. And, uh, and then it laid it down um, in front of an altar. And we have a secret place in our church that we built about seven, eight years ago. Uh, our altar has horns on it, just like the one mentioned in the Bible. We have uh, the four cardinal doctrines of the Sons of God are on pictures in there. And I saw the month of September laid down in front of the altar where I pray at every day. Sometimes I hold on those all, those horns just because of, I, I need it for that day. But I, the, the, the September month was laid on the ground, and I was instructed to stand on the month of September and begin to pray for several things specifically. I was instructed to pray for the church to have a strong backbone, for corruption in the church to be exposed, and for a great harvest. And so I stand on the calendar, and I begin to pray for those things. And as I'm praying, I hear a voice that says, you're not enough. We need more people praying, so ask for more help. So as I'm standing on the counter, I'm calling out I, pastors, people, believers, whoever you are, we need to pray for the church to have a strong backbone, for corruption to be exposed, and for a great harvest. And 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 suddenly the, the counter below me just begins to get larger exponentially. And it reminded me of the—I've uh, been to Europe a couple of times, and they have plazas and, and uh, court, court area, courtyard areas where they have like the large life-size chess pieces— and the calendar where I'm standing on, it was Tuesday, September 1st that I'm standing on. And it just gets exponentially bigger. And, and finally, I see the calendar. It looks like the size of a football field. But, but all of a sudden, I'm not the only one praying. Somebody else is standing on September 1st with me, and there's a couple more on, on uh, September 2nd and the rest of the days. And there were people that were praying in tongues. Uh, there were some that were praying out loud. There were some that were very quiet. There were some that were kneeling, some laying prostrate, every, every model of prayer that, that you can imagine. And, but then the cry went out again, we need more help, we need more people to pray. So we began to, to, as loud as we could, all of us, church, we need help, we need help, we need to come, you need to come, you need to pray. And so suddenly I realized that the outline of the calendar was now outlined of the contours of the United States of America, including Alaska and, and Hawaii. But I'm seeing the outline of the, of the country, but the calendar of September is there. And I'm kind of being raised in the air as more and more people are jumping onto the calendar and, and people are praying. All of a sudden, there's no white space on, on the calendar, and people are feeling look they look like ants. People look like ants, but I see people standing all over the the calendar on the country of the United States, and they're praying. They're praying for the church to have a strong backbone, for corruption to be exposed, and for great harvest. And then I see a finger appear, and I see the word, that, and it writes a solemn in front of September, and then assembly afterwards. So I'm looking at the word, a solemn September assembly, which is a clear call to pray for that month. And the numbers of people just keep growing and growing and growing, and the contour of the U.S. is still there. And then suddenly, suddenly, I see a, a fires. Fires are coming, starting around the edges of America. There's fires starting inside. And some of the fires are the fires of revival that are starting all over the country, but I also see fires of opposition and persecution. And then I see storm clouds all over the country, even while we're praying. There's rains, there's storms. And I can see in the heavens uh, this demonic warfare with the angels of God. And you can hear the, the sabers rattling, and you can hear the fights. You can hear the, the grunts and the groans of the battle. I mean, it, it was a fight. And the people that were praying, uh, the, the fires of revival were coming, but the fires of opposition were also coming to the body of Christ. And I saw warfare. It was just, I saw the weariness of the saints. Um Believers were holding each other up and standing together without any division, without, and, and they were fighting together in prayer. And, and the battle was severe. It was intense. It was brutal. I mean, it was abs there, were, there were people bleeding and wounded, bruised and exhausted from all the praying. And he, as I said, the heavens were alive as well with that. But when suddenly the heavens kind of opened and the storms kind of, kind of broke— and my mind and my attention was turned to the end of the month of, of September, where there was a whole lot of people still praying on that day. And the heavens opened. And I saw the Lord, and he was standing there with angels. And he said very clearly, Arise, my bride. Arise, my bride, and prepare 
to pray. Arise, my bride, arise, my bride, and prepare for battle. And lastly, he said, arise, my bride, arise, my bride, and prepare to see my face. For I'm coming soon, and my reward is with me. And then there was a sound like of a thousand shofars being blown all at once. And even in the dream, I could feel the wind of those shofars hitting hitting my face. And I woke up, and there was a, just an overwhelming, peaceful presence about me. And I got up, and I, I wrote these things down, and I just kind of typed them out. And I, and I believe the Lord was calling us to pray for the entire month of September, and, and, but to expect some of the most serious spiritual warfare that we've ever been called to do and, 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 and called to expect. I, I don't know what's going to follow that specific month. But I just, I feel in my heart the battles are going to be very, very serious. Because the, the Lord said, arise my bride. He only calls us his bride when he's ready to come get us. And I'm not date setting by any means. I'm not saying that October 1st, Jesus comes. I'm not saying that. Jesus was just simply telling us that he's about to come. And we know that. We sense that. We, we realize that. But he said, arise my bride, arise my bride, and prepare to pray. In other words, he was saying, whatever prayer life we have right now is not going to be good enough for the battles and the things that are coming, that we have got to get it straight. We've got to get it settled. That five-minute devotion that some believers do every single morning, and they read, they read one verse and read two paragraphs and say, okay, Lord, let this happen and go on, that's not going to cut it. I believe the Lord is showing me that we need to, get the, as a nation, we need to pray. We need to get on top of this, on board with this, and get the people in your church praying for every single day in the nation. And we should expect opposition like we've never seen before. But we should also expect great victory because he's warning us we need to pray. <clears throat> he's waking the church up even more to get ready. And then he's waking us up to prepare for the battle that's coming. But he's also preparing us for that glorious time we'll see his face, which I don't believe is going to be too much longer. And I, I, I'm not saying when this happens. All I know is I was told in this dream that we need to pray during the month of September and to prepare for that, to start building up now, to stop strengthening, uh, to stop, to start working on more than just a devotion, to have that prayer life developed and honed and polished and strengthened and sharpened, that we've got to get ready for what's coming. And this is for the whole church. This is for every church in America. This is not just for the Assemblies of God or one you know, This is for all of us. Warfare is going to come against all of us, and God's calling on all of us to pray. And that's what I believe that we need to do during the month of September to fight the things that are coming.